together we'll find with every pair of shoes that we try we'll have a new adventure you and i where will my feet take me today nobody knows for sure but come for a walk i'll lead the way to places never seen My preschool teacher likes this goodbye card, Briona. She's moving away, and we're going to have a new teacher next week. <sighs> Grandpa, I'm not going to finish that goodbye card. Why not, Franny? I just don't feel like it. If something is bothering you, you can always talk to your grandpa. I know. A customer! And what can we do for you? The buckles on my silver shoes are broken. I think I can work some magic on them. I need them for a show on Sunday. Don't worry. A new pair of buckles should do the trick. Can you make these disappear into the fix-it box, Franny? Sure I can, Grandpa. Quick as a bunny. Take me today. Magda! Magda the Magnificent Magician. Franny the Fantastic. It's wonderful to see you. Franny? Did someone say Franny? Jitters! How have you been? Since you helped me get over being afraid of the dark, I've been as happy as a rabbit in a carrot patch. I've been learning a few tricks of my own. Want to see my string trick? Sure, Jitters. Uh, Franny, maybe you'd like to see my ring trick first. Oh, okay, Magda. Excuse me, Jitters. Huh? Let's go over here. I hold in my hands two metal rings. Franny, I wanted to tell you that Jitters is doing so well. I want to make my show even more magical. So I hired someone new to join the act. <gasps> Don't tell Jitters. I want it to be a big surprise. <laughs> He'll be super surprised. Someone new is joining the act? Well, what if Magda likes the new member better than me and asks me to leave the show? Is that her big surprise? Some surprise. I say the magic word, abracadabra, and presto. Ta-da! Rantabulous, Magda. Let's watch Jitters do his trick now. Oh, Jitters! Yikes! Sorry, Jitters. I'd really like to see your string trick now. Oh, okay. La, 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 la. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, hares and bunnies, this is my amazing disappearing knot trick. Now, now, now you see it? <laughs> That's not the knot trick, is it? No, it's not. <sighs> Are you all right, Jitters? I'm okay, but I'm a hopeless magician's helper. You don't need me around anymore. Dear, I can't do my magic show without Jitters. I'll help you find him. 
Thanks, Franny. I'll look out front. And I'll look backstage. There he is. I can see his tail. I found you. Blustery feathers. You're not a rabbit. No, I'm a dove. Hi, I'm Franny. My name is Flap. What are you doing back here? I just got a new job in a magic show. You must be the new member of Magda's Magic Act. Uh-oh. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? I bet Jitters heard Magda talking about the new member, and now he's jittery again. I've never been in a show before. I hope I do. Okay. I have an idea. If Jitters meets Flap, he won't be so worried. Flap, there's someone I'd like you to meet, but we have to find him first. Okay, Franny. There's someone in the dressing room. Hello? Who is it? It's me, Franny. Can I come in? If you want to. <laughs> Don't worry. I'm going. I'm going. Don't go, Jitters. There's someone I want you to meet. Hi. Yikes! Oh! Tell me what you're worried about. Maybe you won't be so jittery. I heard Magda say she hired someone new for the magic act. So Jitters is feeling jittery about the new person. What if she likes the new person better than me? What if she asks me to leave the show? But Magda can't do the show without you. She needs you. Oh, sure. I bet her new helper is really great. Jitters, Flap is the new member of Magda's Magic Act. She is? It's my first time in a magic show. I'm a little nervous about meeting the big star. Don't worry, kid. Magda's really nice, even if she is a big star. No! I mean Jitters, the famous magic show rabbit! That's me! I'm Jitters! But you're so friendly for a big star. Will you show me how to be a great magician's helper like you? Sure, kid. I guess Magda will need me to stick around and show you how it's done. Jitters, you're not jittery anymore. You're right. When I told you what I was worried about, I felt better. It worked, just like magic. <laughs> I say the magic word, Franny Kazam! Ta-da! <laughs> Ta-da! Ta-da! <laughs> Thanks for helping us, Franny. Would you like to join the magic act? Thanks, but I have to go now. My grandpa will be wondering where I disappeared to. Goodbye, Franny. So long, Franny. Toodaloo. <laughs> Goodbye, everybody. That was fantastic. <laughs> Flaps feathers. <laughs> Another treasure for my shoebox. <laughs> hmm. How do you 
finishing that goodbye card for your preschool teacher, Franny? Yes, Grandpa. Ta-da! All done. Hmm. Grandpa, I'm sad that my old preschool teacher is moving away. I'm going to miss her. I know you will. And I'm worried about what the new teacher is going to be like. I'm glad you told me, Franny. Jitters was worried, too. Jitters? Who is that? A magic show rabbit. He was afraid Magda was going to ask him to leave the act. But when he told us what was bothering him, he felt better. Good for Jitters. <laughs> Grandpa, I'm going to make a hello card for my new teacher. She might be worried about meeting me, too. Wonderful idea, Franny. Where will my feet take me tomorrow? And now, for a nice swoop on the mustache. And voila! My sketch is ready. Now, to make the real work of art with... Macaroni! The only pasta for the true macaroni artist. Uh-oh! My glue is gone. I can't make macaroni art without glue. I know! I'll get some from Grandpa. Grandpa! Grandpa, are you here? Oh well, I'm sure he won't mind if I borrow his glue. This pair of rubber-soled shoes will be easy to fix. If I can find my glue. Now why isn't my glue in its usual place? I guess I'm getting forgetful. Now one last swoop on the mustache and it's done! My masterpiece. Or should I say, macaroni piece? <laughs> A customer! And what can we do for you? I've been busy planting my flower garden, and my clogs have sprung a leak. <laughs> I'll fix your clogs up in a jiffy. That is, if I can find my glue. Franny, can you put these into the fix-it box? Sure, Grandpa. <laughs> Where will my feet take me today? garden I've ever seen. And it looks like somebody is planting even more flowers. Nope, not in here. <laughs> now where could I have put them? Excuse me, did you lose something? Lose? I just misplaced some nuts, that's all. I know they're around here somewhere. My name is Franny. Maybe I can help you. Thanks, Franny. I'm Olivia. I've got to find my nuts before the weather turns cold. Oh. A nut! There. At least I'll know where that one is. But how will you remember which hole you put it in? Tootsie always says, a place for everything and everything in its place. All my nuts in one place? Oh, good idea. Most of them should fit into my nest in the oak tree. That sounds perfect. Come on, let's pick them up and put them right in your nest. Button. Looks like Olivia isn't the only one who loses things. <laughs> That's it, Franny. My nest is full. 
wall. I found a button. Would you like to keep it as a good luck charm? Sure. Thanks, Franny. I'll put it with my nuts. It's really full now. I can't fit another nut or button. You mean you can't fit nothing. <laughs> <laughs> We still have more acorns to store. Hmm. You could put them in two different places. Let's find another spot that's easy to remember. How about here, under the rose bush? That's perfect, Franny. I can remember the rose bush. Now you'll always be able to find your nuts. No, I won't. They're gone. Gone? But we just put them there. They're all gone. Vanished. Disappeared. What will I eat all winter? Don't worry. We'll find them. You look on that side of the garden, and I'll look on this side. Poor Olivia. I don't get it. You shouldn't lose things when you keep them in a special place. That's a big hole. Huh? Oh, uh, huh? Who are you? I'm Franny. Sorry to startle you. I was looking for nuts. My friend Olivia lost her whole supply. Your friend should be organized like me. I'm Alex the Chipmunk. I'd love to visit with you, but I'm busy stashing a big pile of acorns that I just found in a hollow oak tree. Oh, and let me show you what else I found. A stash of nuts that he found inside an oak tree? Isn't this a pretty button? Olivia's button! Alex, I think you found Olivia's nuts. Didn't you wonder how the nuts got inside the tree? Uh-oh. I never thought of that. I better give them back right away. I don't want her to think that I stole them. No, not in here. Olivia, there you are. Franny, you found them! This is Alex. He, uh, found them. Uh, actually, uh, they weren't really lost. I, I took them from your nest. You did? But I didn't know it was your nest, and I didn't mean to take them without asking. I I'm sorry. That's okay, Alex. I'm just glad to have them back. I can help you store them. Thanks! Where to find my nuts? Some are buried by the rose bush, and we'll put the rest in my nest. And mine are in my burrow. A place for everything, and everything in its place. Just like Grandpa says. We'll help each other remember. And even share if we have to, as long as we ask first. Oh, that reminds me. I think this is yours too, Olivia. I think you two are all set for the winter. Mm. Ooh! Mmm! And just in time, too! I have to get back to my grandpa, but have a good winter. B bye Franny, and thanks for your help. Bye, Franny! Bye, Olivia! Bye, Alex! <laughs> A little nutty. <laughs> An acorn. Another treasure for my shoebox. My glue. Now I remember. It's right where I left it. I'll keep my glue in my art box. That way, I'll always know where it is. And I'd better give Grandpa his glue back. Grandpa!
Grandpa, Grandpa, I've got something for you. My glue, you found it. Thank goodness, I've been looking everywhere for it. It wasn't lost, Grandpa. I took it without asking. I'm sorry. That's all right, Franny. For a minute, I thought I was getting forgetful in my old age. Olivia thought she was forgetful, too. But she just had to learn to keep things in their proper place, like you do. Olivia? Who's Olivia? She's a squirrel who couldn't keep track of where she stored her nuts until she decided on the right places to keep them. But then Alex, he's a chipmunk, took them without asking. He did? Yes, but he didn't mean any harm. Like when I borrowed your glue. Grandpa, I made something for you. <laughs> it looks just like me, Franny. And I know the perfect place for it. Right in the front window. Where will my feet take me tomorrow? 